Welcome back to chapter two of Raven Willow Farmstead. On the last episode, we were able to move into our house, which was a long time coming. And now we get to enjoy some rest and relaxation. I'm just enjoying myself being outside. Just kidding. We're building a farm from scratch, so it's time to get back to work. We should actually start in this section here from that border of trees that we were talking about down there mm -hmm. and moving our way this way because that's a nice relatively flat area so clearing that out that'll be our garden area out Perfect. there like we were talking about this down here would be our private little swimming pond waterfall area yep the root cellar is going to be just over here like where the dogs are to about here and then level it off because there's quite a bit of a slope here. There is a bit of a slope here, yes. So that can work to our favor. What I want to do is get rid of all the small stuff first, so that when we're dropping the bigger stuff with the chainsaw, we're not tripping over all that small stuff. experimenting <laughs> embrace your inner cat your feralness unleash it there you go <laughs> you can see it in her eyes <laughs> <laughs> Nice little clearing here. Probably gonna be where we put our chickens for the first little bit. It's so hard to see like what it's gonna look like in the end. Especially with all the snow, but with all the trees still here. It'll come together. There's plenty of big rocks down here. Those big mossy covered rocks that we can use for landscaping or the waterfall feature that we want to put in eventually. And it's doing zoomies. <laughs> Someone enjoys being outside as much as we do. Yeah. Okay, so you said this size tree or smaller we're going to cut this out? This size tree and smaller. Clear it. Okay, let's go. the shoulder. She's the shoulder cat, aren't you?
out the sawzall, hey? Brought out the secret weapon. <laughs> Some of these lighter twigs, you really gotta hold onto them, otherwise they vibrate too much. But the thicker ones, like you can chew through them almost as fast as a chainsaw. A lot safer, a lot less maintenance, quieter. Yeah. Cause these aren't very big trees. No, they're not massive trees, so. So we finished? No, we're not finished. <laughs> I didn't say we finished. We have finished. I said we've finished these trees that are all on the ground here. <laughs> this doesn't look like a ton. I think you need this butt crack. <laughs> well, we're making decent progress. It's nowhere near finished yet. <laughs> But we have tons of these little scrappy trees down. We'll just burn those off whenever they're dry enough to actually burn. And then we're working on this side now, which is where the garden's gonna go. They were too big. I needed the chainsaw. Those aren't too big. Back there. I can't clear those with my little pruners. No. These, all the loose stuff. Clear that and then I can buck these up. Good boy. Got our little birdhouse up. That looks cool. For the tree swallows, right? Yeah. So the tree swallows go in there. Those things are like the jet fighters of the bird world. They take like their own body weight worth of insect or uh, mosquitoes specifically in a day. Mosquitoes are, are big out here. So, we gotta bring out the big guns. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, goodness. Woke up this morning to our snowstorm, only our second one of the season. Ooh, yeah, it's blowing. What, do you want out? You want to go out in that? I don't think so. I did some painting yesterday. And last week I painted the kitchen. This nice bright yellow. And it goes really good with our blue cupboards, I think. And our accent wall is called Fiji. It's 
beautiful turquoise. Hey, what you think? I just did that wall yesterday. It's a little bit mint for my liking, but I think it looks good with the blue. I guess time will tell. If we don't like it, we could change it. Our beautiful big pantry that we've got now. I've never had a pantry of this size, and it's a mess, but it holds all of our stuff. We've got our kombucha going again. That's one gallon. See, it's going nice. Our laundry room. We did get the stackable LG washer dryer just because it is a small space, and our big stand up freezer fits in there perfectly. And then our office. The light is in here. This is our secondary bedroom that we've turned into an office. Love the flooring. It's a decent sized space. And our little bar fridge. Settling in nicely to our new house, getting some things organized in the cupboards. And Rob got the Starlink installed so we can have Wi-Fi now because we had no cell reception out here and no access to the cell tower. So this was an awesome upgrade we were able to get. Like I said, we got some painting done. We just really wanted this place to feel cozy and bright, vibrant, very cheery. I got some of these amazing stencils on Amazon. And my plan is to put them up above the pantry and just put that little you are my sunshine up there. I'm so excited about our new fridge. Look at two kinds of ice cubes and the beverage center. Infused water on demand. You can put whatever you want in there, fruit, tea, whatever. It fills it up on its own. Trying to figure out how to get to those seeds. <laughs> There's the blue jay on the ground, Caitlin. Oh, there he is. I wish we had a better camera. Oh, there he goes. He's quick. Barely got him in time. Came up the driveway, cleared a whole path, and then there he goes. Thanks, Lenny. Gotta get up. We have to get busy. Definitely frozen over. We found the creek. It's still kind of running. It's pretty thick back here. the creek? Is that the halfway point? This is the whole soy field, which is the whole length of our property. But we're on this side with the trees. 
So we've been looking for the creek. I think we found it. We found a little stream in there. I think this is the official creek. It's beautiful. Beautiful day out. Sorry, what? We just walked so far. Oh my goodness. And all the way down there to those trees? Our property line. Okay, well, that's better than we thought. Okay. And that can be like a water supply that's, you know, about a kilometer away. <laughs> from well, yeah. Found a secondary creek comes from that soybean field and travels down that way and all through these trees here there's a moose and deer trail. That's the kind of tire that made those tracks over here. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Someone put up another one. You know what this probably is? What? It could be a deer trap. A deer trap? So what they do is they fill this with hay and grain and stuff. Okay. And then they sit in a barn somewhere. And they wait until all the deer come up here with the trail cam. Oh, what's up there? Yeah, that's There's, an old blind. That's a blind, oh. Or like a anchor for one. Neat. It may, be a, it may have been a trail cam that they put on it too or something. Back behind our property line. It's like right at the edge, though. There's our orange marker. That's one that I would want to keep. Oh, that big one, yeah. yeah. Big oak tree. Looks like Narnia in here. Running. Can you see the bubbles in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're gonna go out and mark out the garden. The snow's too deep for my boots. <laughs> 